Verizon Wireless Stores released the iPhone 4 in stores today, and for many customers, it was worth the wait. ATVN's Megan Medic found out why. Customers lined up at this Verizon store in downtown Los Angeles to be among the first to buy the iPhone 4. The iPhone broke records last week just two hours after it was available for presale. Man, it is craziness. The energy is just so, so exciting. We are so excited to be bringing the iPhone 4 to America's most reliable 3G network. And Verizon customers agree. It's one of the best smartphones we have here, so I'm, I'm excited. Well, I'm pretty excited. I used to have a Razer, and now I got this iPhone 4. It has a lot of cool apps and things like that, and, you know, it's fun to play with. It's this Verizon on Wilshire opened at 7 a.m. and had 32 customers waiting outside. They've been able to see about 15 customers per hour, but many customers are buying more than one iPhone. Osuna says one early morning customer bought 14 iPhones. But the long morning lines were nothing compared to the long day of work for employees. I've been here since 5 in the morning. I'm still here until 10 p.m., so we got a long way to go before we're even finished. Although both the Verizon and AT&T iPhone cost about $200, the Verizon iPhone does not offer simultaneous voice and data use on its 3G network. For some former Verizon customers, the iPhone came too late. I switched to AT&T in the past from Verizon for the iPhone and I haven't had a problem with my service whatsoever. ATVN contacted AT&T representatives, but no one was available to comment about Verizon's iPhone release. From ATVN, this is Megan Medic reporting. The Conservative Political Action Committee met today, but not all.